Your first act is the normal world, so it's all about establishing your character's normalcy. For the longest time, I accidentally mistook this for a clean slate. My character's lives would be bland, boring, and uneventful before the inciting incident, because my mistake was thinking that the adventure brought the story. But the story starts on the very first frame. So right off the bat, you've got an exposition to-do list, and that list more or less looks like this. Introduce hero, show them doing their thing, define their weaknesses and worst fears, state the lesson they need to learn, and foreshadow change. Depending on your story, you'll likely have some of your own to-dos added to this, but the heart of it, these items are the bare essentials of this first stage of your story. So you introduce your hero, and you show them doing what they love most, or what they do best, or the only thing they know how to do. Basically, they're doing the thing. You know, the entire opening of Raiders of the Lost Ark is Indy doing his thing. The opening of Toy Story is Woody doing his thing. It's all about things. Things aren't perfect, though. And that's when the third to-do comes in, to find their weaknesses and fears. This can just be what actually scares them, like with Indiana Jones, it's snakes. Or this can be where they have unfinished business, like with Indy, it's Marion. It can be deep-seated flaw they need to overcome, like with Lego Batman, it's his insistence on living and working alone and relying on no one. The theme is kind of the chicken or the egg with so many other elements in your story. Theme means to feel extracted organically from your story, and once you find it, it can be a great North Star for all your decisions going forward. I say North Star because it provides the general direction to go, but you have to work with the immediate terrain first at all times. Your character may not want to go a certain direction, even if you know they need to end up somewhere in that vicinity eventually. Long-term goals, those are theme-related, and it's here in the first act that you need to tell the hero and the audience, this is what you're going to learn here, one way or another. Lastly, you have to foreshadow change because it's coming. And sometimes this is done gradually, like in Die Hard, where we keep checking in with and slowly revealing Han's team, breaking into the building. Other times it's done in one big burst right at the top of the movie, like the opening of Star Wars or Jurassic Park. You're foreshadowing the antagonistic forces so they're an imminent threat constantly looming in the background of the first act. The thing is, to-do lists don't make for interesting stories. So how do you make a first act that doesn't just feel like you're waiting around for the adventure to show up or just knocking out items on the to-do list? One way I like is to treat this section of the movie like a short film within the film. I figure out what little mini story I'm telling that will take the hero through each of these checkpoints. Toy Story does this brilliantly with the birthday party operation with the army men that ends with the arrival of Buzz Lightyear, a very unsatisfying and disruptive ending for Woody that directly instigates everything that comes after.